Hi guys, welcome to Linksai YouTube channel. My name is Ram Mishra and I am your online instructor. So what's in this video? In this video, I will tell you how to mount AWS S3 bucket on Amazon EC2 instances using S3FS. So guys, let's begin the topic. But before start the lab session, we have to understand few points, which is what is S3FS and its use cases. A S3 bucket can mount can be mounted in AWS instance as a file system known as S3FS. S3FS is a fuse file system that allows you to mount an Amazon S3 bucket as a local file system. It behaves like a network attached drive. File system in user space, Fuse, is a software interface for Linux and Unix like computer operating system that lets non privileged users to create their own file system without editing kernel code. So let's begin the lab session and we'll see how S3FS is useful for cloud admin. As you can see, this is my AWS console and currently I'm logged in in Mumbai region, right? And you can see that there is no running EC2 instance available here. If I click on the running instances, see there is nothing, right? So uh, let's talk about the what are the pre-requirements for use S3FS on AWS EC2 instance. Basically, we require four things. First of all, AWS EC2 instance for mounting S3 bucket. Second one is S3FS and AWS CLI package for mounting and configuring environment. Third one, we need a unique S3 bucket with globally access. And last, AWS IAM programmative user with S3 full access permission. So let's start with the first step, which is launch AWS EC2 instance. So for the demonstration purpose, I'm launching my Ubuntu machine. So click on the launch instance. Uh, give the name, say I'm giving here demo. Scroll down, select my Ubuntu AMI image and just scroll down, assign the key pair if you have a key pair, yes I have in Mumbai, so otherwise you can create it with new key pair here, click on the launch. Okay, so, uh, okay, successfully initialized launch, so you can see that uh, I have successfully launched, this is the new one, demo. So go to the EC2 dashboard, let it be refreshed first. Okay, so now you can see it is currently it is in pending condition now. Yeah, it is in running condition. So let it be connect first. So click, go to the connect and go to the connect option. Yeah, just wait for a minute. Let the, let be connect. Okay, I'm on my Linux shell. Okay, so now I'm going to update the package and install the S3FS and AWS CLI package using apt-get command. So let me log in with root. Okay, so first of all, apt-get update-y. So let it be update first. Okay, it's going to be update. It's updating. Okay. Now it's successfully updated. Now I have to install the package. So again in the command apt get and this time install uh, S3FS in AWS CLI. Okay. So now try to install these two packages. So just wait for a minute. Let it be complete first. It will take few minutes depending on your internet speed. So it is in process, progress, okay, still in process, just wait, okay, setting a BWS CLI, scanning progress, yeah, I think so, yeah, we have successfully installed. So now package successfully installed, now we have S3FS command, we can see S3FS and we can check man for documentation purpose so we can click s3fs with the manual command fuse based file system packed by the amazon s3 right so now move to the next step which is make s3 bucket which is uniquely accessible right and it should be globally so i type here s3 open a new tab so open the new tab in s3 bucket for s3 bucket and let me create a s3 bucket create bucket and give the name so I'm saying demo uh, demo m u m b u c k t demo Mumbai bucket okay scroll down uncheck from here block all public access acknowledged and scroll down and create bucket yes so now my bucket is successfully created 
if I go over there and for the demonstration purpose what I'm going to do I upload a one file so let it go to the add go to the desktop and on the desktop what I can do I can use the this Linux image okay scroll down upload it okay so now it's successfully uploaded so I have a file Linux.png in my bucket demo mm bucket okay now move to the next step which is create a programmatic IEM user with full S3 permission so for this what I have to do go with the IEM so I click IEM search bar from here and uh, go to the IEM console okay let it be launch click on the user click on the add user create a user I am giving a nice name Bob go with the programmatic access next attach existing policy directly so I can select here s3 full access yeah Amazon s3 full access is there next next create so now this way we have successfully created a user uh, which is Bob and I have access ID and secret ID so you can keep it secure or you can download it dot download dot CSV file for the further references right so now what we need to do uh, we have done uh, all the pre requirement for mounting S3 mounting using S3FS now time to final check how to mount S3 bucket permanently so let's move on the EC2 console and first of all I'm, I'm, I'm creating a mount point for the mounting purpose so let me create a directory slash test and now we have to create the credential file for S3FS S3FS support the standard AWS credential file for store in home directory on home location under .AWS folder that is and the file is credentials alternative S3FS support a custom password file which is passwd-s3fs file in slash etc directory so which is the standard location after creating this file we don't have to use hyphen o and the password underscore file key to set the location of the file with your aws key manually so let me create the file first so what i'm going to do touch etc and paws wd hyphen s3fs okay now give the permission ch mode ch mode say 600 okay now what i'm going to do i need to open this file and mention here my secret key and access key so just copy the access key from here go to the console right click and paste okay then use colon and again copy the path copy the secret key right click copy and go to the console right click paste yeah so now you can see that this is my access key this is my secret key okay now save and quit from here now move to the next step uh, we have to set the permission also for this one so I have already set the permission that is 600 now uh, I need to open one file which is vim etc f uh, use .com file and just uncomment this one allow this one user allow other so uncomment the user underscore allow underscore other string if you want to allow using Amazon S3 for file sharing by other user which is non root user on your Linux version so just save and quit from there and then for the permanent mounting what we need to do we have to update our etc step file so open your etc step file uh, and then put up the entry like s3fs hash then your bucket name in my case my bucket name is uh, let me copy my bucket name from here copy and right click and paste okay let it be saved first now give the mount point c slash test then f u s e file system then it's a network net 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 dev network devices then allow other than zero zero okay and just save and quit from here that's sufficient i think so let it be checked first now uh, please include the hashtag before s3 bucket name so here i add the entry next step using the uh, for following format like uh, s3fs and hash and my bucket name okay so that the change the so that change remain available after the server reboot as well so now finally enable the mounting using mount command and let me check so I can run the mount hyphen a yes you can see that df capital th slash test let it be capital T here yeah stfs file system is successfully mounted so if I move to the test folder and you can see that Linux.png is there 
okay so now i can copy this file and paste it under my root location see the file is there similarly i can create few files like file 1 to 10 dot txt even i can check that one also yes and even i can copy from here to the my s3 bucket mount point that is test right so if i go back again my s3 bucket and if i refresh it let's see all files are reflected here 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so guys this is how you can just mount it uh, using s3fs file system and you can act permanently mount your s3 bucket in your linux ec2 instance and in the same manner if any file that just you uploaded in your s3 bucket appears in your local file system and the same way you can test the delete file operation and it works both ways that means if you perform any file operation on your file system it will synchronize to your s3 bucket as well so guys this is how you can work with this magical tool in aws platform and finally this is the end of this topic hopefully you enjoyed and learned new things soon i will come up with another new interesting topic till then keep practicing if you feel something i have missed or you wanted to know more something is please reach out me through my social media links which is mentioned in the description if you like this video please do not forget to like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon button for the latest update thanks for watching stay safe and goodbye